trimmed in white. Hartford in green and blue. 90 minutes plus of soccer on the way, and we are in progress. One thing Hartford wants to try to avoid, Phil, we've seen it all year, giving up those early goals. Absolutely. Actually, it wasn't Ryan. It was Bryce Washington coming up. Here's Coa Santos. Put on goal and put over the goal. So it will be a goal kick for Sanchez. In swinger coming from Torres. Barrera sets up short. They play it to Danny. Drops it back. Here's McGlynn on goal. It was deflected by, I believe, was that Logue? Here's in the middle. Here's a shot by Logue, and he whistles it wide. The shot from outside the box from McGlynn was on frame. It hit Logue in the back, and then Edwards lays it off to Logue, and you can go to the bench as Loudon turn it over, and, they're, and Hartford's attacking third. Open up for Edwards. Keeper comes out. Ball in front of the goal. Hartford on the board first. Juan Pablo Torres, and Hartford goes in front in the 23rd minute. You an unforced error. Prince Sadie plays it around. Kyle Opino puts it into a dangerous position for Kyle Edwards. First time, puts it on the six-yard box. Juan Pablo Torres into the back of the net. That Every time <laughs> in, in a New England spring. Santos trying to get somebody to move. Finds Gary in the middle. Loudon trying to snap its four-game losing streak. Hartford has dropped its last three matches. Shot on goal and saved by Husu Landry. Tristan Hodge goes back to Sanchez. I know you used to have a <laughs> traditions like that at George Mason. You would throw the Budweiser cans over your right <laughs> shoulder and throw the rest of it down your throat. Only after we played UConn in the Elite Eight. Oh, That's the only please. time that we would celebrate like that. 26 years at UConn, maybe the worst <laughs> loss ever. Here's Loudon on the attack, looking for the equalizer, headed out of there by Lapper. Washington plays it for Gray. Here's Chica. He's taken down, and Edwards called for the foul. Um, just a really mature player who who's smart, quick, athletic, and, and he, he just seems to fit well in this system. Here's Ryan, got away from Logue. For an athletic goal scored this year, Nuovo Pasta, Connecticut, and Stop and Shop will donate meals to the Stop and Shop School Food Pantry Program. That's that going to be a yellow card. A heavy challenge, getting a talking to, and but it seemed incidental. We are in a stoppage time. We had heard one minute, and that is it. So we have come to halftime here at Trinity Health Stadium. Two teams. Ross McGlynn's shins. And Luke Merrill is going to come in for Matt Sheldon. As predicted, Sheldon carrying a yellow since the 30th minute had a heavy foul that the referee talked to him about. I think that was the only warning that tapped. Kowanda, sloppy pass, and Logue will quickly restart for Hartford. Gets it to Edwards. Pass very deflected. curious. To, sorry, Joe. I'm very okay. curious to see the movement of Elvis Amo here. Here's one towards goal, headed out of there. Knocked away by Bryce Washington. Hustling to keep it in on the near side is Merrill. Gets it back to Amo. Drops to the goal scorer, Torres. Hartford trying to form up against the Loudon defense. And the Athletic will change the field. McGlynn plays it left as the rain gets heavier here. Logue will play it in. Edwards couldn't control the pass, and Loudon will try to counter. But a turnover. Bad turnover. Taken by Barrera. Distributes left to Edwards. Dribbling into the box. Edwards on goal, and he fires it over the top. Against Birmingham three days ago. Gets the ball, quick little step over to his left foot, and skims over. Here at Trinity Health. Through ball played for Edwards. Keeper comes out. What do we have here? Penalty. Penalty. We're going to have a penalty on Faru. Goal! 
Elvis Amo on the penalty kick. 2-0 Athletic. Going right down the middle. You look foolish if you miss. Let's Ferro jump out of the way. But Hartford benefiting. Edwards taking down the box. They get the penalty. Hopkins with a shot parried out of there by Sanchez. Strong hands from Sanchez to get that well clear of danger if he couldn't collect it. Amo comes back to help the defense. Elvis Amo with his third goal of the season to double the Hartford advantage. And now Loudon will have to press the attack even more. They change fields. Randy's Worcester Street Pizza, the official pizza of Hartford Athletics. He had all sorts of space around them to take that with more composure and have potentially numbers for Hartford against Loudon. Rocha has gone the entire way in center midfield, number four. Pass for Williamson. McGlynn with the contact, and we have offsides. Tommy Williamson offsides, the former Cal Golden Bear from Anaheim Hills, California. And he was very active in the midweek against New Mexico United, not just converting the penalty. He had eight shots in that game. He's a kid Nice lead taken. ball by Merrill. Here's Torres, plays it across. Amo shot, deflected away, and deflected right to the goalie. For Loudon, Hartford been limited, has been limited to one. Here's the in-swinger. Put up in the air, here's a shot. Good save. Diving save by Santos on the shot by Abdul Koana. So it sounds as though that's what they're gonna be doing again, Cedeno for Barrera. Loudon trying to press the attack. Down by two as we approach 10 minutes to play, although we will have significant stoppage time. And there's a clear foul and a yellow card on Jackson Hopkins. Rolled and necessarily a wing back and he's accepted that responsibility. There he thought it was a clean tackle and gives Loudon a dangerous opportunity. Sent towards the box, headed, chested down. Hopkins shot is loose. Cleared out of there. Loudon screaming for a handball in the area. Instead, it's cleared out. On the run, here's Merrill, head of speed. Nice slide tackle. Knocking the ball away that time. Yeah, his first touch betrayed him. Merrill's Almond car really hustling back. And then look out. On the goal line, Merrill and Ahmed car exchanging addresses for Christmas cards. <laughs> And Merrill gets a card. Tackle in and of itself kind of put him on, on the precipice. There, just touch too close to goal. Almedkar, tactful slide. Oof. That could not have felt good for Almedkar. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't happy about it. I thought that was wide of the frame of body. Harmonakis ahead for Williamson. Deep into the corner against Ra Rod. Nice move, and then Rod takes him down. So it'll be a short corner and Rod gets a card. Nice change of direction, but a great steal. Great read by Hodge there. Tristan Hodge has had a solid game in the back line for Hartford. He has been, and with these substitutions, he's kind of had to move around a lot and play a couple different roles. Now in that holding midfield role, quietly in control in this match was Hodge. On the near side, Zane in the left channel, trying to create space against Merrill. Drops it back to Rocha. That was a good ball. Nice ball in, and Sanchez covers up. Bryce Washington upset he couldn't do more to it. Yeah, I mean, you have a center back in, in Washington making a heck of a run. And Aiden Rocha, one of his fellow defenders, playing him a, a curling ball, header right at Sanchez. He read it well. High quality ball from Loudon. They were just missing that last little bit of quality. This crowd can begin to feel it. Hartford's first home win of the season as we are into the fifth minute of injury time. Anything to waste a couple seconds. Hartford taking no chances for that first home win. And they have achieved it. We are at full time. 